Hey everybody, it's Ellie from Planning and Finances. Welcome back. And yes, yes, I've said it, we're talking about Christmas. I know it is the middle of the summer, but please do not press stop, do not move on, stick around because I want to make sure that you are well prepared and have thought of everything in the run up to Christmas and you are not stressing out in December. But also, to make this video a little less painful, thinking about Christmas, I decided to do a giveaway. Huh? Yeah? So, to win the giveaway, what you have to do is, count how many times I wear these antlers throughout the video, and write the number down in the comments. So, I'm going to start with how to plan for Christmas. So I have been planning with sinking funds for about three years now. So my sinking funds are ongoing. And in January, I'm saving for Christmas again. I put away every month for Christmas. But if you don't, that's okay. And you can start now. Even putting small bits away, it's going to help you. Because no matter what, Christmas is coming. You're going to have to find that money somewhere. And it's better you find it now then get into November and December and there's a pit in your stomach and you're worrying because you want to enjoy your kiss Christmas. If you have kids, you want to give them the best Christmas ever. You just want to see their faces like light up in the morning. But you don't want to be in not yourself or you don't want to be getting in debt and then paying these huge uh, interest prices in the new year. So take and start putting a little bit by each month. And it will help you out so much, honestly. Once I started this, it was amazing. And even better is if you can save up enough and be able to buy your gifts around Black Friday when all the big sales are on. If you have your money there already in your sinking funds, you're prepared. Or if you're just shopping during the week and you see a gift that's perfect for somebody, you can buy it there and then and a lot of people get great bargains by doing it this way and save a fortune on how much they spend on gifts and decor and all stuff like that for Christmas throughout the year. So I'm going to now go through with you my budget. So stick around. Okay so I think number one on everybody's budget for Christmas is going to be for gifts. So we have a gift budget of about 1600 which is sufficient for me to get my kids something, my husband something, myself something. And then I also have not a large family and friends, but we buy for everybody. So I buy for my brother or my sister, their partners, my sis my mum and dad, sorry, and my nieces and nephews. Then I also buy some gifts for some of my very close friends. So about 15, 1600 usually covers me off. So I think for a, uh, the next kind of high budgeted item would be the food around Christmas. I think this must be nearly everybody's favourite is of buying our food for Christmas. So this year I'm not actually hosting as far as I'm aware. So far I'm not hosting this year. Me and my, but then I'm also going to want to get in like some cakes and some treats for the kids and you know little things and to have over the other days of Christmases. And then also on Stephen's Day, I'm kind of spoiled again, I go to my aunt's on Stephen's Day. But I have set aside this year 200 euro for that reason. And that's on top of my food budget. So I still have my regular food budget and then this on top of it. If you're doing a full meal, obviously I would, I think you'd even get a full meal for 200 euro as well. Next on the list is clothes. So the girls, I love dressing the girls for Christmas. I think some of the Christmas clothes are so pretty. And sometimes I have had a tendency to dress them the same. I know, I know people don't always like this, but they're just so cute. And you know, they're gonna get a bit older. and I'm not gonna get to do it anymore. But we and then I have myself and my husband. I don't think last year I really bought anything. I don't think maybe a 
a top or something. Um, and in all honesty, my husband gets so many gifts up my family of clothes that he barely needs to buy hand either. Like, uh, so, but I have set a budget for that of 450 euro. And that would include like shoes for the girls, coats if they need it and things like that. Up next, I have decor. So I all know we love Christmas decor. Well, I do in any way. Um, and I love getting the house pretty. And especially since I have my own house now, I've been slowly over the years picking up bits and pieces. I'm trying to do it like that over the year. But I'm debating this year buying a tree. But then I'm also saying be smart and buy the tree in the sales and have a new tree for next year. So I set 200 euro aside for a tree or decorations. I might not spend it all if I don't buy my tree, but I'll get it in the sale. So I'm still budgeting that in now. We usually buy our Christmas decorations in the sale because you get some gorgeous pieces for like half the price. I So honestly, hold off if you can, buy them in the sales and you'll have them for next year. But you'll want that in your budget as well. Okay, so another cost that I've put in is Santa Claus visits. Now, Santa Claus visits range in prices range from anything from free up to like hundreds. Um, we did Rat Down one year, which is a place in Ireland, and it was absolutely great fun, and the kids loved it. Um, but I also do Arnott's, and now I, to be honest, I just do Arnott's every year. Arnott's is free Santa Claus. And they are so good. Like, I absolutely couldn't recommend them anymore. Um, we go in midweek and there doesn't be as many queues as there does be at the weekend. And I set aside about 60 euro for that day. Now, I know I said Santa Claus is free. And Santa Claus is free in Ireland. But we make a day out of it. We go in. We get our ticket. We go. We have our breakfast in Ireland. Then, um... We go and we see Santa Claus and then we buy our photos. So the kids, I love it now. On my mantelpiece every year, I've got like all the photos of every year that we've been to Ernest because we've been going for like five years now, I believe. I absolutely love it. Um, if you're liking this video so far, before we go any further, please take a second to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. So that's a quick rundown of all the bigger things to save for for Christmas. And you might have forgotten one or two of them or you might have included all of them, that's great. But then there's a lot more hidden extras of little itty bitty things that you might not think of. So number one would be the Christmas pajamas. Like, I don't know about you, but I get my girls Christmas pajamas every year. And they can range up to 15 euro each. And that's about 30 euro for the girls for Christmas pajamas and maybe Christmas slippers. The second extra would be stocking fillers. Like sometimes I consider stocking fillers in my gifts and you can do that. But sometimes stocking fillers add up all those little knickknacks. I don't put toys in my girls stick, stick and figures. <laughs> stocking fillers. I put up like, I put in like packets of underwear, like, you know, with the themes on them. Um, I put in like maybe a tub of Smarties, different things like that. Um, and then like hair bobbins, like loads of little itty bitty bits and pieces. But those things can add up. Um, so I'm going to set aside about 100 euro this year. And I don't think I'll hit 100 euro, but that's... Number three then of little extras that you might not have considered is your wrapping, your cards, your postage. Uh, we have family abroad, so we always send cards abroad. Um, wrapping, I usually, terrible, I usually try to get it the year beforehand. So I'm one of those people that I'll pick up a load of rolls for probably a euro after Christmas in the sales. Um, but if not, like you're probably going to pay a few euro for your wrapping paper and your cards as well. Um, but I've set aside 20 euro for wrapping cards and postage. And so the last little extra that I have is teachers and neighbours gifts. So I know about the teachers gifts, and uh, but you might not necessarily calculate it into your budget when you're thinking of things. And also neighbours. And I always like to have 
an extra few box of chocolates or a bottle of wine or something there to give to a neighbor or if somebody drops you in something and you're not expecting it I have something there to give back because we just have a little extra on hand and I've got 70 euro set aside so that's it that's my Christmas budget so my Christmas budget altogether comes to about 2500 euro I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this really helped you be able to plan for your Christmas better and not miss out anything in your budget and also remember the giveaway were you counting how many times these things went on my head I hope you are take care bye